What about uh, That's your shirt? That's mine. You willing to share your shirt? No, it's on my body. It covers me. Um, what are you willing to share? Advice. <laughs> Worthless. <laughs> Worthless. Okay. Um, listen. Listen, people. Would we live in a biosphere? I, I think this conversation is about to take a turn oh, for the um, into the real. We're about to get real up in here. Really? No, I just don't. I just I want them to stick around. <laughs> Please, not stay really, here. but just stick around. Welcome to Good Mythical More, where um, nothing really happens, but we want you to stick around for it. <laughs> I ha I have some opinions about not this, but your idea, of the reality show, because as we. Um, Discussed briefly there. We were we talking about briefly there. Briefly there. Lizzie said that uh, there was a Big show. Brother was in, inspired by the Biosphere too. Right. And is then, that is that show still on? By the way, Big Brother. Is it? I don't know. I think so. You think so? It's had a bunch of seasons, and it and it was and it they did it in uh, England first. Right? So Mari Povich's wife is still Connie Chung. Connie Chung is not. That's not her. Mm -mm. It sounds really wrong for me to think that that was her. I apologize. I can't remember her name. It, it was in the Netherlands. <laughs> so this whole idea of putting people into a, a place and putting cameras on them is a genius real, reality show television idea. But they recently did something that was as much like Biosphere as you could have gotten and not be Biosphere. And you watched it. I watched like four episodes, unashamedly. Utopia on Fox. It was, they made a community in Santa Clarita, right up the road. Yeah. And people were gonna go and be in this community for 12 months. And they could not leave, now, and they had to support themselves. Now they, they weren't in a dome. No, we it was, should clarify. It, it was fenced in, and it was, fence. it was outside, and they had like a few supplies, and they put people in there that knew they were gonna be crazy people with extreme worldviews like coming in together and stuff. Fox paid $50 million for the first season. What? And it was broadcast twice a week. I think maybe at least twice a week. It, I know and it, it was happening in real time because I remember you telling me that we could go to you it could and go visit them as like, like spectators. If you're watching on a Tuesday, because they also could develop crafts and then sell stuff. Like people, you could apply, at the end of the show it would be like apply to come and visit Utopia where you can buy stuff that we're making. And then like people would be like, I've been watching you and uh, I think this and that, like they'd be on the show like the next week. And that doesn't sound like the most interesting part of the show. It's for people to drive to Santa Clarita and just be on the show. No, it wasn't. But it just it just gave you the sense that it was happening in real time. But I was it was a, it was really 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 bad. It was didn't someone get was, injured? Like did they get their fingertip cut off? A guy was like trying to catch something and he hit, hurt his finger. That's what happens when you go into utopian situations. You hurt your you got to wash your fingers. Wear gloves if you're ever going to be in a biosphere or in utopia. I like uh, But I it was really bad. It's mittens. I mean, I'll just finish the thought. It got canceled. Oh. Fifty million dollars, and like th two or three weeks into the season, they were like, "You know what? Let's just do this once a week. Let's broadcast this once a week." You know that was a big fail. But you kept watching it. At that no, point. we watched. You the were out. We watched. I watched like three, maybe three Fridays, and we, we deep. We. I mean, I didn't. It wasn't appointment television. I was. It, it was so. The people on it were so crazy. Jesse and I felt so dirty watching it. We were like, these people are just so stupid. The people, way they talk to each other, they, it's like it's like children. It's but interesting. It was that so extreme, you the, couldn't stop watching. They banked it. on the concept, but not the execution. You know, it, it all comes down to people in in the show whether you're going to keep watching or not. But they the expense, what they were banking on was just the fact that everything around it. But you can't forget the the heart of it has to be entertaining. It doesn't matter if it's live or if I just it's real or anything. It was too, it was, I, I think. I mean, reality shows in general <laughs> have proven that. I think it was too caricatured. Like you you were so, like almost convinced that these people, no one thinks the way that this person thinks. That Like no one actually thinks the way that this guy thinks. Like nope, that guy actually thinks these things. And this guy actually thinks these things. And this guy thinks these things. And they all disagree. 
Won't that be entertaining? It's like. Were there like Survivor esque physical challenges? No challenges. See, that's not good television or a good biodome. Let's go back to the biodome because there right. also weren't Survivor esque physical challenges in that either. There probably should have been. They should have had mixers. They should have had. They did all kinds of things. I mean, they're a theater group. I'm sure they had put on plays for each other. There was a swamp in there, man. There was a swamp. There was a savanna, right? And an ocean and a savanna. But and a rainforest. They, so they could travel the world giving their little show. But then it was, so what would it be? It's like spectators lining up on the outside of the bubble, like watching them I pantomime. Don't, their... I don't know how that worked. I don't know if people, there's definitely pictures, like if you just Google image search Biosphere 2, there's like pictures of the whole crew like up on the glass, like looking out, like posing for pictures. For Time Magazine when they say this is the worst failure ever. Right. But then, so you, you didn't really talk about the last couple of days, but I do remember that, uh, what was her name, Jane? Jane Pointer, yeah, uh, Connie Chunk. Jane Pointer. She took the arrow and she shot it, and it hit just right at the top of the dome, and then the whole thing just started to break apart. Yeah. And then next thing you know, you got to wait a year to find out what happens. Right. Yeah. Or you can just read the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. But who's going to read the book at this point? I mean, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't even seen I'm that movie, and I know what you're talking about. <laughs> The actor's playing the character. Yeah, Jayla. Right. Yeah. Lenny. Yeah. Well, Lenny Kravitz. Jane Pointer. And then it's like, what happened to Lenny? I think he's. I think he's. I think he's dead. I think they killed him. Then I. I. I didn't know for sure. What about Donald Sutherland? Right. Him too. Yeah. He didn't die. He coaches the uh, San Antonio Spurs. Sports joke. That's a joke for the point three percent of you who know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Since we're totally making catching fire jokes, let's add a little San Antonio Spur joke so everybody just happy. look up coach of San Antonio Spurs. Okay, and right. then take that picture and put it up on the screen. Coach of San, are you talking to me? Yep, I'm talking to them too. And then take Donald Sutherland. Greg Popovich. Take Greg Popovich, Popovich, and put him next to Donald Sutherland. You know what? I'm gonna do one better than that. I'm gonna search Greg Popovich, Donald Sutherland, and see if someone's already done a split screen. And if they haven't, then this is not legitimate. And yes, they have. Last night, um, I actually heard a, I heard a guy. <laughs> Good work. I heard, Matt. A, I heard a guy. I, I, I'm not going to take credit. Who, for who because, knew that we could bring San Antonio Spurs and catching I, fire? I, I heard an analyst. I heard an analyst. Like uh, Popovich was on the screen, and the analyst was watching the game. He was like, "That's Donald Sutherland." That's what he said. That was he just said it. That, he just came out and said it. So just said it like that. Yeah, that's Donald Sutherland. It's not. Re they don't. I mean, they're both old white dudes with beards, white beards. I mean, but yeah, that's close enough for me. So anyway, this guy is in charge of it all. The dome. The biosphere. The biosphere. He's behind it all. Right. Yeah. He really does his house up for Christmas too. You should see all the all the um the lights on his house. I had seen movie. You know those you know the people who like that's their thing. Some people it's like Halloween. Some people it's Christmas. His thing is Christmas. I can tell just by looking at him. Why, because he looks like Santa Claus? Nope, just because I can, I've profiled him.